Guys, what's going on? So I had a question from somebody on how to edit white seamless. Um, so I'm gonna show you a real quick on how I do it. And there's a million different ways I'm sure you could do it. There's probably faster ways you can do it. Um, but this is just how I've done it. Um, and also I'm not a product photographer by any means, but I do do some product photography, especially during the slower times. So this is real quick how I kind of get white seamless. So this was actually shot on a uh, white seamless paper. So that's what's going on here in the background. And then on top of the white seamless paper, I actually have a essentially like a dry erase board that you can get from like Home Depot or a Lowe's. And the, it comes in like a four foot by eight foot sheet. And I use it a lot when I shoot portraits like in a studio to get the reflections, but I also cut it down to size to use it for smaller tabletop type product photography like this, for example. And this is how I'm getting these reflections right up in here. Um, so obviously we get some things that we need to clean up kind of back in here. And uh, most of it's all pretty white, but you can see kind of sort of in this area, it's not as white as it could be, um, which is kind of important, especially if you were using this for like say catalog or something like that. Um, I'm not gonna go through and edit this whole thing or, or anything into any great detail, but I'll just do kind of a quick um, thing on how I, I, I do it. And again, like I said, there's tons of different ways you can do it. Um, I'm sure there's much faster ways you can do it, but, but this is how I do it. So what I would do is bring this photo in to Photoshop, which we already have here, obviously. Uh, the next thing I would do is kind of find out what size it is. So on this photo is right here. So this is the width, height, and the resolution of the photo. So I'm just gonna make a new document with that ex exact same requirements, which we already got right here and we want it on white. So we're gonna create that. Then we'll take this photo and I'm just gonna copy it. And so that's this, the short, I'm using keyboard shortcuts. So that was just the uh, command C. I'm on a Mac, have no clue what that is on Windows. Command V, so I'm gonna paste this on top of the old layer and as you can see, how gray the um, the color really is compared to a solid white. So that's what we're gonna fix. So from here, what I would do is like we're working on the photo layer right here. That's what this layer right here is. I'm just gonna grab this little marquee tool here and drag it like this. And once you kind of have it, you know, highlight it like that, you can just hit delete or backspace and it just gets rid of that. So this is kind of a, it's a quick way to get rid of a lot of space that I know for sure I'm not going to need. Uh, and you can kind of just work it as close as you want to the product or whatever you got going on in there. Again, I'm not trying to be exact. I'm just kind of half assing this just to kind of give you a demo there. From here, you could take your eraser tool and you can work at it with full you know, opacity and flow to kind of get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, or you can change the opacities like here and the flow here. But I usually just work with the eraser tool kind of at full. So, you know, we'll get rid of some of this stuff. And we'll just kind of keep on going here. Uh-huh. And then usually when I get a little bit closer to like the edge of the product, like the eraser tool is not very forgiving. So like if I hit the product, you're kind of screwed, right? So what I usually will do is switch over to the paintbrush and then use the opacities here and lower as I get closer to the product. So right now we're working at, what is this? 93% opacity. And I'm just kind of cleaning up some of this stuff, change the brush a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And for the most part, this is going to do a, a good job. Maybe we have to go over some spots a little bit more than other spots, but. And just do a quick rundown through here. And we'll do a quick rundown over here. Okay, 
And then as we get a little bit closer, I might change the opacity down to say like 40%. And I'm just kind of guessing. That way we can kind of get to the edges a little bit better without going too hard, too fast onto the product. So we're not changing the product too much. But as you can see here, there's still some pretty hard lines. But we can just kind of keep painting over it a little bit. And eventually, maybe we'll go up a little bit more. Let's go to like 70. There we go. And you can just kind of play around with your settings, you know, depending on what your product is and all that sort of thing. And, okay, so let's zoom out and see how that's looking. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So you can see it's, it's kind of getting cleaned up pretty well. Um, here, obviously, we got some big chunks over here. And we were just kind of keep working it. Um, obviously, like you'd want to go in maybe and kind of touch up the products a little bit, get rid of all this crap in here, get rid of some of these reflections and that sort of thing, um, as well as finishing the background. But I'm not going to keep going just because I think you get the point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. Pretty simple. You can do the same thing, like say if you were doing portraits, like on white seamless or anything like that, you can do the exact same kind of brush techniques and eraser tool and all that sort of thing. Um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you know, just leave me a comment, let me know, or you can feel free to reach out to me. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll talk to you guys later.